In this topic, we are going to talk about another constraint on measuring international performance, and that is volatility of the global environment. Uh, you know that uh, the environment of any organization is rapidly changing, uh, but when the environment goes up to the global level, it means that E, um, events which are happening at the local level as well as events that are happening at the global level, they are going to affect how your organization is going to perform in that particular environment. Uh, so when there is global turbulence which affects that particular subsidiary performance, it is essential that long-term goals should be flexible in order to respond to potential market contingencies. Uh, so there could be a number of uh, reasons, there could be a number of factors, events in the global environment, which require you not to uh, inflexibly st uh, stick to your targets and objectives. If there is an event, if there is situation which is happening in the global environment, that must be taken into account and flexibility must be shown in setting up the criteria or if the criteria are set up and then an event happens you need to you know reevaluate the criteria according to that particular contingency to take into account that particular contingency and then uh, you know calculate your performance uh, so we as an example uh, i'm going to discuss a few global events would change the landscape of business in the last 50 years. So starting from uh, the collapse of communist rule in the late 80s, you know that uh, since uh, the Second World War, there was this Cold War between Russia and America. And due to that, there were several different, uh, you know, constraints on global business. But after the communist fall in the late 80s, the um, env global environment opened up, particularly this Russian bloc that opened up and therefore number of opportunities were created uh, for various different multinational businesses. Then a very important event was adoption of Euro, which meant that the European Union, it integrated and consolida consolidated and that led to opportunities and uh, that that led to an integrated system of business in the European Union and that meant that it is uh, a uh, it became a business block uh, which had you know which developed its power and was able to you know uh, uh, manage uh, global dynamics uh, then another important global event is the Chinese market reforms you know that China before the uh, 70s, it was completely shut up in its own shell. But then in the, um, in the late 70s and early 80s, they started opening up for business for the rest of the world. And uh, they started offering, uh, you know, their products, their services, their manufacturing units to come uh, uh, for, for the rest of the world to uh, get opportunity from. And that has led to a completely different dynamic of business in the world with the Chinese market developing and expanding. Uh, then another important, uh, uh, if not just event, but development uh, in the world arena is the uh, spread of epidemics like SARS, a bird flu, dengue, Ebola. These are contagious diseases which are a pandemics in Kokete, they are not just an, uh, epidemics, these are pandemics because they have uh, effects across continents, uh, so they can be spread very easily and that means that uh, that creates a challenge for mobility, for movement uh, of uh, people across different, uh, across different countries and uh, that is something which is a threat for people and has to be taken into account. Then a very important uh, uh, development, particularly for our block uh, of uh, countries, is the spread of international terrorism. You know how badly it has affected the Pakistani environment and the overall global environment. 
and it is a uh, uh, it is a threat for um, global peace uh, but yet it is also uh, it has also created dynamics for different businesses uh, which can be discussed but not in this topic uh, and then rising oil prices that means that the cost of every uh, everything which is being sold that is going to be added up then high profile corporate collapses which happened which started happening post 2000 uh, you you must be remembering the collapse of enron which was because of uh, um, uh, illegal uh, reporting and similar kind of uh, corporate collapses and bankruptcies which were shocking for the world and therefore that also changed the way business is done uh, um, it changed the way how transparency is ensured by the organization it changed the way how rules were framed to make sure that organizations they do not cheat their own people as well as the society then adoption of international accounting standards so when you have an international accounting standard it means that your accounting systems they must be according to that international standard and therefore your accounting data becomes comparable then uh, moving on there was this global financial crisis of 2008 which badly affected the uh, business arena particularly in the develop in in the developed world then arab spring political disturbances starting from 2011 you knew that it started from tunisia and spread in egypt and libya and that uh, uh, moved towards a liberation movement uh from uh, from various different kind of uh, uh, type of rulings and uh, um that also affected how you know the arab peninsula that is seen by the world and also uh, the arab peninsula itself it reorganized and has started uh, um uh, you know uh, it has started working in another dimension and finally global warming which creates uh, an econo an environmental threat and because it is an environmental threat it is an economic threat and organizations they have to take measures to make sure that their carbon co2 emissions they are a curtail they have to make sure they make products which are uh, which are environment friendly which are green products which do, which do not affect the environment so for the last 300 years we were pumping carbon dioxide into the atmosphere but now we've just realized that we have pumped too much carbon dioxide and unfortunately all of our systems our machines our technology that was based on burning this uh, uh, fossil fuels jinko kehte hain petrol ho gaya ya coal hai ya uh, diesel hai ye sab fossil fuels hain which which emit a lot of carbon dioxide in the environment but suddenly now we have realized that we have reached that level that threshold value after which we will not be able to survive if we keep on pumping carbon dioxide in our air uh, so now the manufacturing systems the products the way of doing business all of that that needs to uh, change towards a more environment friendly and earth friendly uh, dimension and therefore you can see that um uh, the uh, products the machinery the cars the, the uh, equipment all of them they are now uh, focused towards conserving energy going hybrid using solar energy being electrically powered and all that uh, this is how this is something which has changed the uh, business environment for uh, the entire globe so according to these various different events the organizations the multinationals they have they had to respond and therefore their performance does not cannot be uh, measured stand alone it has to take into account all these challenges which are coming up and more challenges will definitely come up and therefore the organizational uh, strategic um, people they have to make sure that they take into account these market contingencies.